Hello, my name is Juan, and today I'm going to read Fly Guy Presents Garbage and Recycling, just like I said I might in this other video that I made, Recycling and Trash. Search for that one if you want to. I'm not saying you have to, but I recommend that you do. By Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. I have a special treat for you, Fly Guy, Buzz said. Today we are visiting a landfill. Yes! Fly Guy loved garbage. He and Buzz couldn't wait to learn more about trash. Trash from homes, schools, and businesses is called municipal waste. Municipal solid waste. Here are some examples of things that make up mun municipal waste. Foods? Paper, leaves and grass, metal, plastic and glass. A city sanitation department or a local garbage company is responsible for collecting, recycling, and discarding these materials. In the United States people throw away over 250 million tons of trash each year, more than any other country. And that's not good. Most of the trash that ends up in the country's most of that trash ends up in the country's 2,000 or so landfills. Landfills are areas where garbage is discarded. A landfill starts as a large hole in the ground covered with clay, soil, and a plastic liner. This keeps the waste from getting into the soil and groundwater beneath. Giant landfill compactors crush and pack down trash. Then the garbage is covered with a thin layer of soil. Over time, tiny organisms called bacteria eat the trash, causing it to decompose or break down. Yumsy! The bacteria in the landfill also cause several gases to form, including this very stinky gas called hydrogen sulfide. This gas smells like rotten eggs. It is so stinky. Humans can detect it even in, it even in tiny amounts. That's why trash sometimes stinks. A fly can smell garbage from almost five miles away. Wow. It sure must be stinky. Sanitation departments and garbage companies around the country collect waste using 130,000 garbage and recycling trucks. These trucks haul the waste to landfills and recycling plants. A typical garbage truck can haul around 20,000 pounds of trash. It's a lot of trash. Some garbage trucks use diesel fuel. Others run on a natural gas. created from landfill gases. Natural gas is less expensive and better for the environment. That's actually true. You're not polluting everything. So they're not polluting anything. Many trucks have mechanical arms controls. Controls inside the truck are used to grab, lift, and dump containers of trash into the top of the truck. Urgh. <laughs> Other garbage trucks are rear loaders. This means the garbage is dumped into the back of the truck. Then a shovel-like wall pushes the trash further inside. The crunch sound you hear is trash being squished to make more room. So this is the loading hopper. This is the loading sill. This is the riding step. This is the packer panel. This is the tailgate, and this is the grab handle. 
anything else? Nope, there's nothing else. Sanitation workers have very dangerous jobs. Lifting heavy containers of trash might cause injuries. Workers might touch something harmful in the trash, such as glass or broken chem or dangerous chemicals, broken glass or dangerous chemicals. And sanitation workers often ride standing on the outside of their trucks, so a crash with another vehicle can be deadly. Bum bum bum. Sanitation workers use uniforms keep help to keep them safe. They wear gloves and boots for protection. And their outermost layer of clothing helps make sanitation workers more visible to other drivers. Once there's no more space in the landfill, it is covered and closed. This land used to be a landfill. The machine continues to vent gases that form beneath the surface. Sometimes, this land is later turned into a park, a golf course, or even a ski resort. But what happens to the garbage that doesn't get sent to a landfill? In the United States, the rest of our trash is recycled or turned into soil through composting. Recycles, 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 recycles. In the United States, state and local governments make their own recycling laws. Starting a recycling program can be expensive, but recycling can save money and the environment in the long run. Recycling programs are expanding. Right now, 25 states have laws that say certain electronics called e-waste must be recycled. Laws like these are important because many electronics contain toxic materials that can be harmful when they end up in landfills. This is America Recycles Day, November 15th. Most metal, paper, plastic, and glass can be recycled. Rubber tires and lead acid batteries used in vehicles can be recycled too. But some items like light bulbs and dishes cannot be recycled. Plastics like potato chip bags and plastic wrap cannot be recycled either. Huh. E waste must be carefully recycled through special programs. Televisions, phones, and refrigerators all are all e-waste. Sigh. Hmm. When a truck arrives at a recycling center, its contents are dumped out. Then recyclables are moved to a then recyclables are moved to a conveyor belt. Everything is separated and trash that was mixed in by mistake is removed. Similar materials are crushed, compacted, and tied up in huge cubes called bales. <laughs> then the bales are transported to different plants for processing before being made into new products. <laughs> Each bale of paper or cardboard saves about 15 trees. Wow, that's a lot of trees. Save the trees. Let's follow, bale, follow a bale of plastic bottles to a plastics recycling facility. Recycling map. A forklift brake 
picks up the bale and drops it onto a conveyor belt. The bottles are pre-washed and sorted by color. The bottles are ground into flakes. Then they are washed again and dried. The flakes, the flakes are melted and made into tiny plastic pellets. Oh, those look kind of like rocks. These plastic pellets can be used to make new things. Carpets, fleece jackets, and park benches can all be made from recycled plastic. New plastic bottles can be made too. Nice fleas. This one says here, made of recycled materials. See? Yeah, no problem. Go ahead and see. Natural materials like fruits and vegetables, eggshells, and leaves take up a lot of space in landfills. But they can be recycled through composting. See? The process breaks down food and yard waste into a rich soil for gardens and yards in just two to four months. Wow. Are you learning as much stuff as I am learning here? Because I hope you are. It's good for you. Some people compost in their backyards. But some cities like San Francisco and New York are beginning to pick up this waste with trash and recycling. This helps reduce the amount of trash in landfills. Hmm. A, a typical American family throws away $1,300 in food of food in one year. What? Unfortunately, some trash doesn't get disposed of properly. This litter ends up in our lake, in our lakes, rivers, and oceans. When plastic trash ends up in the ocean, it breaks down into confetti-sized pieces. Thank you. Ocean currents have pushed millions of these plastic bits together in one part of the Pacific Ocean called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Water sample from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Oh, that looks awful. Birds and marine animals think that the plastic is food and eat it. The plastic can make these animals sick. If you like to eat fish, you might find yourself eating our ocean's plastic trash one day too. Nasty. Yuck. That's truly icky. To keep trash out of landfills, follow the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Easy. Just take one. Flaws and Fly Guys, three R's tips. Only buy things you really need and use them until they wear out. Bring reusable shopping bags to the store. Reuse shoe boxes and cardboard boxes for art projects or storage. Reduce the amount of paper towels you use in the bathroom. You only need one to dry your hands. Or use the dryers, if there are. Or if you're in your house and you don't have any paper towels, but you have towels, use them. Use a refillable container from home instead of a plastic water bottle. Compost your family's food and yard waste. Use clean, empty food jars to store leftovers or as many flower pots. Reduce how much trash you throw away by donating used toys, used clothing, toys, and electronics instead. Properly recycle e-waste, metal, plastic, paper, and glass. Rinse plastic and glass containers before recycling them and after you empty them of their contents. Boston Fly Guy pledged to do their part to make our planet a healthier, a better, healthier place. We know what to do to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Buzz reminded Fly Guys they had headed home. Yes.
the end. Please like and subscribe to the video. And also check out this other video that I made. I think I've mentioned it before. Recycling and trash. Bye-bye.